What is up everyone? Welcome to another vlog. I feel like it's been a minute since I've done one of these and I feel like I've forgotten how. But we are heading into the weekend right now and I feel like I have a lot of things I need to get done and like things that I always put off. Cleaning my makeup brushes. That is <laughs> the worst task in the world to me. Like I don't know what it is about it but I absolutely hate doing it. Like somehow it makes my back hurt. That doesn't make sense because I'm like out of sync but I hate, oh, our laundry's done. Doing laundry is another one. Anyway, I hate doing makeup brushes. I've got a little grocery haul to share with you guys. And as I always try to let you know early on in the video, a portion of this video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. We'll talk about that in a bit. We might pop out to go to a pumpkin patch because we haven't been to one yet this month. And I mean, you gotta, you know, and there's some really cool ones around us. So we wanna try to find one we've not been to and go to that. So hopefully all of that will happen this weekend. But I figured I'd bring you along kind of like a weekend in my life and yeah that's really all welcome in <laughs> i also definitely need to get some laundry done did i just call that laundry <laughs> i'm losing it you guys <laughs> i gotta get some dishes done too it's just been one of those weeks like we got back from our trip at this point like four days ago does that sound right and this week just like diving right back into working and filming and all that has been great, but it definitely like sucked up all my brain energy. And at this point, I'm like. <laughs> so Pinocchio, our little buddy here, his friend Ralph is coming over and he's going to stay with us for the weekend, Pinocchio. He's going to come over right now. They're on their way. <sighs> Do you want to see Ralphie? Don't your buddy. So Ralph is our best friend's dog and he is such a good boy and he is the biggest fluffy butt. You guys are going to love him. They're like buddies because they're both like betas you know they're just like chilling they'll just relax next to each other they don't even <laughs> Pinocchio won't even play with them Pinocchio is just such an old man <laughs> so I want to tell you about the book I'm reading and also I'm currently washing our duvet cover and sheets and pillowcases so this book I picked up recently and the author of this is the author of one of my favorite books A Gentleman in Moscow and this I thought was like a new book no, it's actually his original book before he ever wrote A Gentleman in Moscow. So it's set in like the late 1930s and I'm only like, what, 25% of the way through the book and I literally within pages, I was already hooked. It's just one of those super interesting, like I don't really know where the story's going, but it doesn't matter because I'm so interested in the characters and in the time period. I'm definitely someone that likes historical fiction, so it's right up my alley as it is, but just knowing that I like the way this author writes and I'm already into this book. Just wanted to mention it because I feel like I've read a lot of books lately that I haven't felt like strongly about one way or the other. And so it was exciting to like start this one and be like, okay, like I'm vibing with this book. So if you like historical fiction, I think already, I think you'd like it. We'll see how it ends. I guess I shouldn't speak too soon, but you know. Here's Mr. Ralph. He's so handsome because he's got crimped ears. <laughs> he's so cute. Well, good morning, friends. It is now Saturday morning. I'm making some cream of wheat for us. Uh, man, I've loved this stuff since I was a kid, and I still love it. And sometimes I forget it exists, and then I go through a series of, like, eating it every day. <laughs> so right now we're through the series where we're, like, eating it a lot, but Tyler and I both love it so much. We just put salt and butter in it, and it is so good. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, my gosh. I love this so much. Well, uh... Happy Saturday morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the cutting board. I, uh, I'm not ready yet. We're not going to be doing a whole video here, but uh, I do want to let you guys know that there's more videos on the way, and for those who are following along with the bread journey, get excited because for almost a year now, I have been working on getting my recipes all, all set up, and I've been trying different recipes. I've been mixing methods and amounts and all kinds of stuff from different uh, venues and different uh, cookbooks and different websites and all that kind of stuff. And I think, I think, I have finally stumbled upon what is going to be my sourdough bread recipe. So get pumped. It's coming. It's happening. And I think you're going to really like it. So today I'm testing out a few final minor tweaks on this recipe, and if all goes well, this uh, sourdough recipe could soon be coming to a kitchen near you. So I just got a shower, obviously, and I'm about to get ready. So I got a PR package from La Roche-Posay, and I love a lot from them. I've talked about them a lot on my channel. And I was excited about this. This is their Anthelios HA Mineral Sunscreen. And I was like, okay, SPF 30, that's great. I wanna try it. Well, <laughs> I tried it and it leaves the like worst white cast. It took me forever to get rid of it. Like I was like, 
this can't happen again. So I wanted to mention it um, because I'm sure ingredient wise, this is an amazing product. And if you don't mind a white cast, but it was too much. And there are so many other sunscreens out there that I love that are so much better. So wanted to mention that I actually use a lot of their SPFs like for the body, both for me and for my daughter. So, you know, just is what it is, but <laughs> yeah, I would stay away. It says it's got, um, it's fragrance free, which I think all of their stuff is. But I, one thing they did send that I hadn't tried and I've been using the past couple nights is their Tolerion, de, de, <laughs> I was gonna say daily, nope. Double Repair Base Moisturizer. This is like this really thick, not too thick, but it's like a nice weight, I feel like, moisturizer, and I've been using it at night, and man, oh man, I've really been liking it. Whatever's left on my hands from putting it on, I'll put on like the back of my hands, and I've really been enjoying it. It's only been a couple days, so it's like a little too soon, but since I was, not loving this one. I figured I'd mention one I am loving because this one is really nice and I kind of like that it's in like a squeezy tube. Just saying. Okay, I, I feel like I have a lot to say about skincare, but I've been trying a lot of new stuff lately and I bought, I okay, I did something I very rarely do and I wonder if you guys are the same. I actually bought one singular product from a brand's website and I had to pay for shipping because I was like, I, there's nothing else I want to buy. So it was the Herbivore Phoenix Facial Oil. And I've been burned by Herbivore, Herbivore before, y'all. I This is me right now. And I've had plenty of coffee, so I have no excuse. <laughs> but I've tried the Herbivore, oh my gosh, was it their Orchid Facial Oil? And the smell of that was so floral, I just absolutely could not handle it. So I eventually got rid of it, but I was so sad because I bought the full size. So I was like, okay, we're not doing that again. I really wanted to try this Phoenix oil because it has rosehip oil in it and then some other ones. And the reviews, even on Beautypedia, are pretty good. I think the ding that it got was like it has some fragrance, but I was like, I'm gonna gamble. I wanna try it. So I bought the small one, which I'm really glad I did so then I can make sure I like it. Then I could buy the full size. So I had to pay for shipping for this little bad boy. <laughs> I hate paying for shipping. Anyway, it doesn't have... Uh, like a strong scent though, nothing like the orchid one. And if I'm being honest, the smell of it, there is a scent. It smells exactly like the rose hip seed oils I've used from The Ordinary, the one I just used up from, I can't remember the brand, I'll put it down below, I can't think of it. But it literally smells like all of the rose hip seed oils I've ever used. And since that's a part of that, I really think that's kind of the main thing that's coming through. It's not like a pleasant scent, which is fine. I I'm okay with that. But anyway, I wanted to mention it because I've been enjoying it kind of as my serum at night, like I'll put this on and then I'll do my eye cream and moisturizer and that's pretty much it and I've really been liking it. I obviously haven't used it a ton, but yeah. So I'm gonna get ready and we've got a lot to get done today because everything I mentioned a few minutes ago in this vlog that I needed to get done, I've done none of it. <laughs> this is the status. <laughs> we've gotta clean these today. Alrighty, makeup and hair is done-ish. Uh, I'll show you what I put on my face though. It's kind of a mix of some drugstore, some high end, I love everything and I'm really digging the way like my skin looks today, which is great because first of all, I've got a few breakouts going on and then I have, I think a bug bite right there. Look at that, what's happening? So I've got, let's see, the Guerlain L'Essential Foundation. Love this stuff. I, oh, I feel like every time I wear that, I'm having a good skin day, you know what I mean? Um, and then the Hourglass Concealer, I like. I don't like, it's not my favorite, but I do like it. And then what else? Kosas powder, e.l.f. primer infused bronzer, the hourglass dim infusion, is that what it's called? Yes. Blush, the L'Oreal chromatic bronze pigment in as if. I don't know that, I think that might be discontinued, but I love tapping that on top of my eyeshadow look, which this is the ColourPop double entendre palette that I have on. And I have mostly this shade on, but a little bit of these blended in. This is in the outer corner. I tapped a little of that on top too. And then the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm on my lips, the Physician's Formula Waterproof Liquid Liner, this e.l.f. No Budge Precision Liner is pretty good. It's not as creamy as I always want it to be though, but it is pretty good for like tight lining the eye. And then the e.l.f. Wow Brow on my brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel on top, and then the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume on my lashes. All right, tis the time of the video to share what we got for our groceries from Thrive Market this month. I have been working with Thrive Market for a long time and I'm continuing my partnership. So this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. 
I got a lot. This is a big daddy box. This is bigger than normal. We, uh, it was just one of those times that by the time we were ready to place our order, we had already added a lot to our cart, like on the app. And there were a couple more things we needed to add. We checked out, it was great. And I love it because orders over $49 ship for free, which was perfect. But if you've never heard of Thrive Market, it's an online membership-based marketplace where you can get so many different organic, gluten-free, keto, paleo, non-GMO, like any type of diet or lifestyle you're looking for, they offer so many different options on there and it's so easy to kind of sort through there. Like I said, orders over $49 ship for free. So we never pay for shipping, like ever, because we just wait until we've hit that threshold before we like place the order, you know? And it's so darn convenient because it's delivered to our door. We don't really have to think about it. And we've discovered so many favorites from Thrive Market, but we also have a lot of staples that we buy all of the time, whether they're ingredients for like quick dinners, whether they're like snacks. So before I show you everything I got, I want to show you how much I saved on this order alone. Right there is how much I saved. It is always so much. And the reason we have fallen in love with Thrive Market is they give you members only pricing and they work directly with the brands to make sure you're getting the best price. And they even have a price match guarantee, which is so cool. So if you find something for cheaper elsewhere, they will match it. That's so cool. So let me show you what we got this time. I wanna start with the thing I'm the most excited about and that would be these. So these are these Unreal peanut butter cups. And it was kind of like a deal where you picked four different ones. So I picked these that have crispy quinoa in there. So there's supposed to be like a crunch to it. And then the dark chocolate covered peanuts from the Unreal brand. And then just the regular dark chocolate covered peanuts. The idea behind these is that there's less sugar. So I'm kind of excited to try them. My husband is too when he saw these. Okay, you should know that we got this box and we opened it this morning. And it's been a couple hours like before I filmed about it. He had already gotten into it. He had already opened something for Genevieve, some applesauce, I'll show you. He had already opened the coffee and used some of it this morning. So I was just laughing. I'm like, Tyler, did you get into this? He's like, yeah, sorry. We always buy coffee from them. This is such a giant bag of whole bean coffee. It is their French roast. I think this one is my favorite from them. They have a lot of different ones. I like to get the French roast a lot. So we got that one. They have ground versions too. You don't have to get the whole bean. And then the other thing he got into is over here. This is the organic applesauce from Thrive Market, but it's strawberry flavored. So my daughter was eating it this morning. She was really liking it. So something new I saw in there I wanted to try. I love the brand Late July. I really like a lot of their snacks. And so these are their Beat the Heat Red Pepper with Chia and Chipotle tortilla chips. And I was like, yes, please. And then I also got the Thrive Market Grain Free Puffs. These are the barbecue flavor. I feel like we've gotten these before, but I don't think it was the barbecue flavor. Or was it a different brand? I don't remember, but they were really good. And so I was like, I wanna try these too. So I got two bags of those. Cause I'm like, assuming I'm gonna really like. Them. Another thing I really think is cool about Thrive Market is that they ship with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses, which is awesome. Some more things I got. This is something we use for dinner. Actually, we just used the last bit of ours last night. So. This is the Thrive Market Organic Coconut Amino Sauce. We use this in place of soy sauce. I just really like the taste. And then I also got the Noble Made Medium Buffalo Sauce. So we've had the mild buffalo sauce from this brand. I really like it, but my husband likes spice and I'm really not into super spicy stuff. But I figure, well, we'll give this a try and see if it's too spicy for me or not. We like this on cauliflower. <laughs> and then another recipe we make is like homemade crunch wrap Supremes. I can link the recipe we use. Uh, but the recipe we use is a vegan one, and even though we're not vegan or vegetarian, it calls for this cashew sauce that you make in place of cheese. And y'all, it is so good. It is so good, but it's, it's not complicated to make, but you have to like use certain tools, and I don't always wanna dirty those tools up to make it. So I saw that they had this core rind cashew cheesy sauce, and I was like, is that gonna be like it? So I'm so curious to try this, both like on tacos or in our crunch wrap, but then also just dipping tortilla chips in it because it's like cheese, but different. It's like nutty. I can't explain it. It's so good. So we also got the Cascadian Farm Chewy Bars. We, I don't know that I've had this brand, but my daughter's really getting into granola bars and I'm always into granola bars. So I was like, that looks really good. Let's try it. And then we also got these Bunny Grams from Annie's. They're the birthday cake flavor. I would like to say I'm buying these for my daughter. I'm gonna be real. I will end up eating half of this box. These are the most delicious. Like if you've never had them, they are next level good. Oh, I also got apple cider vinegar. My husband will drink like a shot of this a day. It's got all kinds of gut benefits. I have done that from time to time, but honestly, it's just so gross. 
So I'm not currently doing that, but he does. So I went ahead and got him one of those because we were out. I told y'all we got a lot of stuff. I also got, we got like way too many snacks. I was hungry when I was finally like placing the order and that was a bad idea. So I got my favorite, the Pipcorn Heirloom Cheese Balls in the cheddar. I, okay, I've decided. I've gotten the cheddar and I've gotten the white cheddar. And for a while I thought I liked the white cheddar better, but I'm going back and I think I like this cheddar best. I know you were curious. So I also got this Noka Superfood Smoothie. It's got prebiotic fiber and it's these strawberry banana little pouches for my daughter, but also I was like, I would eat that. So they're for both of us. And then, all right, we are gonna try these right here and now. I have heard so many people talk about the Smart Sweets. These are their sweet fish ones. I've been dying to try them. There's three grams of sugar in this entire bag. Oh my gosh. Those are pretty darn good. They taste so much like Swedish fish, which I love. But it says it's got allulose, and it says allulose is a non-artificial sweetener that's found in foods like raisins and figs. It tastes like sugar, but doesn't act like sugar in your body. So this has 11 grams of allulose per bag. So very interesting. These are very tasty. They have like sour versions. They have a lot of different kinds. So I'm excited to have finally tried these. Always, always, always olive oil. <laughs> I don't think I've ever placed an order from Thrive Market without ordering olive oil. And then for my sweet doggy, Pinocchio, I got him the Shameless Pets Bananas for Bacon little treats. That was maybe my biggest Thrive Market haul ever, but we really needed a lot and then I bought way too many snacks. So another thing I really think is neat about Thrive Market is that they have their Thrive Gives initiative where for every paid membership, they donate a free membership to a family in need. They've also donated a ton of money to charity in the past year or two, which I think is really important. So if you wanna check it out, they have two different membership models. They have the monthly membership, which is $9.95 a month. And then they have the yearly, like annual membership. That's the one we go with. It is $59.95. That breaks down to $5 a month. $5 we're spending on the membership when you look at how much we saved again, it is absolutely worth it. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. That will get you 25% off your first order and a free gift, and the free gift is usually awesome. So definitely check it out. I'll have the link and info down below. Thank you again, Thrive Market, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Yeah. So we just took these two sweet boys and our daughter on a walk. It's like 85 degrees out. It's weirdly hot for like mid-October, you know? Yeah, I see it. Uh, she has a Mickey uh, like notepad and she's tearing every note off of it. <laughs> but she's it's bringing her so much joy. I see that. So we're gonna head to a pumpkin patch. Most of the ones near us close in like three hours and they're pretty much all like 30 minutes away from us. So I picked one I don't think we've been to before. And yeah, just get some pumpkins, see if they have like snacks. A lot of the ones near us have like apple cider donuts or pumpkin, you know what I mean? I'm like, that sounds kind of good. So we'll see what we get into, but I hope there's like a corn maze at this one because those are always fun too. So we have been to, like I've said, a few pumpkin patches around us. And a lot of them have gotten to the point where they're so big, they feel kind of commercialized. It's not that big of a deal, it's still fun, but they're also like expensive. And we found this one that was like $5 a person where the other ones are like $15. And it's got all kinds of cute stuff. It's got the corn maze and the hayride and the concession stand. They've got like live music and pumpkin picking. And it's, it's so cool and it's so much more like charming and like it's less busy. This is the kind of pumpkin patch I feel like I grew up with, you know? I don't know. I'm just super happy we found this place. I just feel like this reminds me too of like where I grew up. You know what I mean? Like this, I, where I grew up, there was- A lot of farmland, yeah. You know what I mean? Just, uh, it just, yeah, reminds me of my childhood. All right, we're trying the corn maze. I always get nervous. I'm like, I'm just gonna assume it's not, ooh, it's super muddy, Tyler. Pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. We got some cider, some popcorn, and then, Show this, Tyler. This is so smart. Caramel apple in a bowl. Who would have like, thought about it? Do you want banana? I was like, yeah, I do. I, I literally said, I don't even know what that means, but yeah. That's so smart, because think about how messy eating a caramel apple on a stick is. Y'all can make fun of me if you want, but I am busy cleaning out my humidifiers. So this is our favorite brand. We get asked this a weird amount back when I mentioned it maybe a year or two ago. These are from Amazon. I think they're still being sold. I will find whatever I can that's as close as possible because they were about the same price as every other humidifier, like 30 or $40, kind of depending. And what I liked about them is that you just take this off and fill that. 
instead of like a removable whole thing. I don't know why, but like you'd have to remove it and then flip it upside down. And that drove me nuts. With this, you just fill the whole thing. And yeah, I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just love it because we'll just get like a pitcher, fill it with the water and then go over to this, fill it real fast. And yeah, so cleaning wise, I just looked at a few YouTube videos. I always have to re-remind myself like how I do it, but mostly it's just vinegar. I just put it in so that like the bottom of it, it's so gross, is covered and all of those little bits are coming up from the edges. And I really just make sure that it's covering at least that. And then when I'm done, I'll kind of shake it, rinse it out, and then use like a washcloth with vinegar to kind of get some bits that are a little harder to get. I could probably fill the rest of this with water and kind of make more of a solution out of it. But honestly, this has worked really well. These have lasted a couple years. And usually when I'm done, they're nearly like brand new. It's definitely getting to be like the season where we need our humidifiers back out. I can already feel like a little bit of dryness. And it's always when the weather starts turning, we don't use our air as much. And especially like once we turn the heater on or you know what I mean, the heat in our house, like that is when I am like dry nose city. I start getting sinus headaches. So this has made a huge difference. All right, dinner tonight is spaghetti and- Super quick and easy. Oh yeah, just some Rayo's sauce, some garlic bread. Did you end up making a veggie? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, well, no veggie, which is fine. We have a- uh, It's a have... super fast dinner tonight, which yeah. is great. Well, I have an 18 mile run tomorrow, so I'm trying to carb a load tonight. Yes, and I do not have an 18 mile run tomorrow, but I am here to just eat the d delicious dinner. And there you have it, boys and girls. Through the magic of television, we now have uh, two completed bowls of sourdough. So if this is something that you are excited about, because uh, here soon, I'm uh, bringing on a video editor. We're gonna start doing cooking videos again. And this is gonna be one of the first things I talk about. You guys, it is so, so, so good. I have to toot my own gefluken, Horkin. So we are at TJ Maxx. We got some Starbucks, which is obviously the, uh, what's it called? Uh, pumpkin cold brew. It's so good. Tyler loves it too. Anyway, we're at TJ Maxx looking for just a few things we've been needing. One of them, I was wanting some art for my bathroom. I wanna show you what I'm thinking about. Isn't that pretty? I was wanting some kind of like line art style and I like that it's kind of simple. There's only a couple colors. That might be happening today. It's a little early, but they've got a lot of cute Christmas stuff out. Like you better believe I'm eyeing some of this. It's so cute. So this is another thing I was looking for, a big organizer for where I film, like on the desk to have kind of the makeup I'm using at the moment. So I'm excited. I think this is perfect. It's kind of pricey, but it feels really well made and it is bigger, which is perfect. So we're going to give it a try. I love looking at all their little coffees they've got out. I think we tried this one years ago and it was okay. We really don't need any right now, but I just love coming here for coffee. We just bought these by the way, and they are the best steak knives we've ever owned. We, yeah. have, we bought two sets of them and they are awesome. They're so good. They're so How much are they here? We bought them here. $16.99 compared yeah. to 24. They're, they're, they're so good. so sharp. Also, I want to brag on Tyler because he ran how many miles today, Tyler? Uh, 18. <laughs> 18 miles. He's training for a marathon in a month, Eight, right? Like three weeks. Okay, well, he cranked out like 18 miles today, so that's incredible. Don't remind me. <laughs> Look how cute these little coasters are. <laughs> little Mickey ones. Looks like there's some uh, mini ones in there too. This is a great place to get cute coasters that are like well-made. All right, this is becoming very Disney heavy. Look how cute these are. Look at this stitch one. Oh my gosh. Just checking out like the skincare and stuff. They always have like super expensive brands for super cheap, which is so cool. Hey, that's the moisturizer Tyler uses. I really like this too. That's really cool. I really like these brushes here. I also found this purse. How cute is that? It's a really good like medium size too. So next stop, Goodwill. Really, cause we just want to look at the books. We love books and also that little one. We always find really good like kids books there. So assuming you guys want to see what we got, we got a couple of like kitchen things. We got this coffee whole bean uh, for how much was it? Yeah, $9.99. We were just about out of jelly, so we figured we'd just try something different. Looks good. I'm curious why it's a champagne jam. <laughs> and then, okay, this may be the best $3.99 we've ever spent because while we're cooking, it can hold multiple utensils. And there's like this drip pan because obviously usually there's like water or sauce or whatever on it. And then, is it dishwasher safe, Tyler? I didn't look. Yeah, dishwasher safe. So that's pretty freaking cool. And then we needed some rubber tonged, no, no, rubber tipped tongs. Is that <laughs> just a little RTT? So we got this two pack here. Those are for like non-stick pans, which by the way, 
We got, and we literally asked the uh, employee while we were checking out. We were like, is this the right price? And he looked, he said, yeah. All clad, nonstick pans. Mm -hmm. Three, a set of three, $24.99. That we looked up, this set online, like on Williams Sonoma, it was like $140. And we were like, what? And so we thought, okay, the box looked open and then retapes. We were like, maybe it was a return and like they're scratched yeah, like, up. They literally condition. are in perfect condition. They were $25 for all three. We could and not believe it. Like the new age, like nonstick where like it just goes, mm. wah, wah, wah. You just pour your egg right out on. It's oh. beautiful. Yeah, these are so nice. I just cannot get over it. It's, this is amazing. So the other items we got, we got a couple of other things I'm not showing that are like gifts for some people, but I got this really cozy white sweater. I love it. And it's just, you know, an open sweater. It'll go with basically anything, but it also will work like just in the evenings when I'm chilly and I just want to throw something on without like totally changing. It's perfect. And it was $14.99. Yeah. This purse, I don't remember if I think I showed while we were in the store was $25. It is so cute and it's a good size for like right now, we don't have to carry around a diaper bag for Genevieve. So I could fit the things I need in my purse and like a change of clothes for her because her clothes are so small, a couple snacks for her and just have this without having to tote around like our backpack, which is awesome. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to use this for. I also got another, <laughs> another makeup bag. Please don't make fun of me. But it was the perfect size because if you saw my packing, no, no, my what makeup I brought, like my travel makeup bag video. That bag I bought is way too big for most of my trips. We are taking a road trip soon to visit my brother out on the East Coast. And I'm like, I don't need to bring that much makeup with me. So this seemed like the perfect size. It was $9.99. I liked that it opened nice and wide because the zipper goes down pretty far on both sides. So you can like really see everything that you've got in there. It's a nice size. So yeah, very excited to have that. And then look at this. I'm gonna use this as a makeup brush holder. How much was it? Oh no, does it not say? Yeah, there we go, $6.99. I just thought this is so pretty, like on a vanity top. It's just gorgeous and I can kind of separate out my brushes and it looks like more of a decor piece. Then these are my two Goodwill finds. This shirt from Express literally looks brand new. It was like five bucks. And then this Gap lived in shirt. It was in the women's section. It might even be a men's shirt. I don't really care. It looks so comfy and cozy. Again. All right, we're back. Tis time to wash our brushes. This is what I always use. It's the Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. It's like unscented. They have like a million versions of this, but this works great. I just pour it in this like little container I've had for a while and just dip the brushes in there, refill it as I need. I kind of use like this kind of a thing just to kind of brush against and I just let them air dry overnight. I use the same stuff for my sponges too and it works pretty well. So I'm definitely gonna pop on a YouTube video and try to get these done. This is my before pile. I just found a few more I need to wash. And the best feeling in the world, here is the after. Oh my goodness, I had five sponges. Three of them, they're done for, they were old, so I just tossed them instead of cleaning them. But I cleaned these two, if you're curious, and you don't know by now, my favorite sponge is like $1.50, I buy it in like a pack of six on the Shop Miss A site. I can link the exact ones. And then, ah, oh, this is a good feeling. Probably need to rearrange a bit so like some of them can dry a little bit better. But yeah, this is, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like the most dreaded task in my life. So check, it's done for now. And now marks the part of the night where I am so zonked. Genevieve is laying down. Tyler is making uh, dinner for us too because she was so tired from just being out and about today and she didn't sleep well last night. So she, honestly, we laid her down kind of early, but she's like, I just checked her on the monitor. She's already out. Um, so anyway, <laughs> over explaining. My back is sore from <laughs> washing those makeup brushes. <laughs> Does anyone else, I think it's cause like where the level of the sink is. I've thought about this a lot. I think because of the level of the sink, you bend over just so. And so every few brushes I would find myself like, okay, Jess, like stand, <laughs> stand straight up. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I told Tyler, I said, Tyler, I did it. I finished the brushes. He's like, I know you feel so, uh, so accomplished. I'm like, I know. So he knows like this is a big deal. This is like equivalent to washing your sheets and putting the freaking fitted sheet back on. That is like top tier worst things like chores that you have to do or putting a duvet cover back on a duvet. Oh my gosh, that makes me crazy. I just washed actually all of this 
and had to do that. And I've had to do two awful tasks this weekend. Anyway, no, oh, well, Pinocchio. Ralphie, by the way, just went home. His parents, our friends, just picked him up. Anyway, so I am tired. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. And I'm actually going to be vlogging some more here in the coming week. So there'll be another vlog coming if you're enjoying. I do have a whole playlist of vlogs uh, you can check out. I'll put the playlist link down below and up in that little eye. I think it's up in that little eye. A lot of you guys are like, what do you mean when you say eye? I'm like literally the little eye. And I'm trying to think, does it show up on the phone or is it only on desktop? I feel like it shows up on the phone too. Anyway, thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. I want to thank Thrive Market again for sponsoring a portion of this video. And again, if you want to check out Thrive Market for yourself, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun to get 25% off your first order and a free gift. I'll have the link and everything down below as usual. And uh, yeah, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.